Welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. A new version of Linux Mint is typically released around every six months and aligns with Ubuntu's LTS long-term support and releases. It usually comes with new features and improvements, but I would say there is nothing wrong with sticking with the release that you already have. In fact, you could skip many releases and stick with the version that works for you if you are happy with it, especially between point releases, for example 21.2 to 21.3. But at some point, there will be a new major version like version 21 versus version 22 that got released in July of 2024. If you have now decided that it's time to upgrade from Linux Mint 21.3, codenamed Virginia, to Linux Mint 22, codenamed Wilma, this video will take you step by step through the upgrade process. This is a major release upgrade and can take a long time, up to several hours. By its very nature, an upgrade will take longer than a fresh or clean installation of the system, but you will be left with a system you know well and possibly have been configuring for quite some time. If you cannot or don't want to upgrade, you can always perform a fresh installation, as this is always an option. It's all circumstantial, what would make most sense in your particular case. I am purposely not recording this video on a clean, freshly installed system, but on my actual existing Linux Mint 21.3 desktop I've been actively using for about a year now. This means that we get to see various packages that may or may not run into issues during the upgrade. Keep that in mind, because your screens will look a bit different, but by upgrading a live system, I will try to capture as much from the upgrade process as possible. Also, if at some point your system fonts become unreadable, rest assured that this is a known issue. Just let the upgrade finish, and then reboot the machine after it is done, and the issue will be gone. A link about this issue is in the description of this video for more information. For the actual upgrade, we will be using the Linux Mint Upgrade tool. The system we are going to upgrade is, as mentioned, Linux Mint 21.3 with the default Cinnamon desktop, codenamed Virginia. I've tested it also on Linux Mint with XFCE, and that also works fine. To get the details about your current version of Linux Mint, if you are unsure or want to double check, open a terminal and type cat forward slash etc forward slash os dash release. Alternatively, you could use cat etc Linux Mint info. It reports Linux Mint version 21.3. Another quick way, but with less details, is to open the welcome screen from the preferences menu. First, let's refresh the package information from the repositories, so we are able to find the upgrade package that is needed later without any problems. Type sudo apt Update. And I also like to upgrade any installed packages while I'm at it, but this is optional. Type sudo apt upgrade. And finally, to install the Linux Mint upgrade tool itself, type sudo apt install mint upgrade. Now that the Linux Mint upgrade tool is installed, we can start the upgrade. At this point, consider making a time shift snapshot or backup your data or system otherwise to revert back to in case of issues. Also, maybe consider making a copy of any configuration files in the forward slash etc or etsy directory, as some might be overwritten by default configuration files. This way, you can restore specific files after the upgrade when you need to. The upgrade has to be run from a terminal, but it will be graphical. Open a terminal and type sudo mint upgrade. The upgrade tool starts with the terminal still in the background. Do not close the terminal attached to the upgrade process at any point or it will break the upgrade. Also I just find it handy to have it in the background anyway so I am able to gauge what is going on and if things are still progressing. Click let's go. The upgrade is broken down into phases with phase 1 being the preparation phase and a series of tests will be performed to prepare the computer for the upgrade. Click OK to continue. And it's a good job these tests are here because I'm running the upgrade on a laptop. And indeed it is not connected to the mains power and the last thing we need is running out of battery during the upgrade. Let me correct that issue and then click check again. 
the APT cache and packages are now being checked. It now informs me that it has found some orphan packages that do not exist in the repositories. And that is indeed correct because I installed both manually at some point or I have removed the repositories later on. You can decide at this point to deinstall any packages that are flagged up here and then click check again. But I will just click OK for now to continue with the upgrade and maybe reinstall the packages later if I have to. Now we are progressing into phase 2, simulation and download. Click OK and wait again. A few more tests will run, for example disk space, and package updates will be downloaded. The upgrade simulation summary appears and informs you with some statistics. In my case there will be 2083 packages updated and 468 will be added. Also 160 of them will be deleted. Then there is a list of packages to be kept with a note that ideally no packages should be kept at all. I don't really seem to have a choice so I will just make a note of this package list. Also the newly added packages and packages to be removed are listed in more detail. Study this if you need to and then click OK to continue and wait again while the packages are now being downloaded. Phase 3 is the actual upgrade phase. Nothing to do but clicking OK. As stated in the intro, this is purposely not a clean system but my actual system and now we arrived at the foreign packages that needs to be downgraded according to the upgrade tool. I will click fix and just take a note to check back on those packages later. After some more waiting, it now reports the removal of newly orphaned packages. And eventually we are arriving at the final phase. The happy smiley face here tells us that the upgrade was a resounding success and we have to reboot the computer. Also, the terminal reports the same. So let's reboot the computer indeed. After the upgrade and reboot, check the version details again with the command cat forward slash etc forward slash os dash release. Alternatively, you could use cat etc linux mint info. And indeed, we are now at Linux Mint 22, codenamed Wilma, as is also reported by the welcome screen from the Preferences menu. We have now successfully upgraded Linux Mint 21.3 to Linux Mint 22. As I mentioned a couple of times, I took notes during the upgrade. If you want to review what has been going on in great detail, after the upgrade, you will find a complete and detailed upgrade log in your user's home directory with the various faces clearly listed. That's it. Hope it helped. And if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time. Bye.